Okay, here's another question from the same guy. How bright do you see the future of rock bands? Will they prevail? Ah, uh, well, it's not a competition. It's not about beating the other genres of music. You can listen to everything you want, but we think rock music is the best, and it's in a, I think it's in a great state. I love our, our new record, and I love what, what we're accomplishing. It sounds very vital, and it sounds very rock. Yeah, I agree, and I encourage any other bands that love guitars not to be intimidated by what they think they should be doing. Just like go with your heart and do what makes you the most excited, and I think ultimately everybody will win that way. A question from at Gab SMH. What is the best part of making music? The feel when you play it or when you hear people singing it? Uh, I think the best, they're both equally amazing. You know, when you first write a song, you get a buzz. You get almost a little high from creating something that you, that you enjoy. And then when you get to play it for other people and they enjoy it and they sing it back to you, that puts chills, you know, down your spine. It raises the hair on your arm. So it's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, G to Z, if right. Your opinion on how the internet has changed the ways of the music industry? Well, I think it's great because we have more access to music than ever before, but it's also too many options. And so I feel like it's hard to fall deeply in love with a group when there are so many out there. And I think also a lot of artists think that it's so easy to just become successful um, because, you know, because of bands like Black Kids blowing up on the internet. <laughs> but um, we had to play a lot uh, before we got that recognition through the internet. So I kind of wish that bands would just focus on playing live in their hometowns and then spreading out and doing it, doing it more organically. So it's at Liz Kooning. I don't know how do you pronounce that. Um, what is the best thing about being on tour and transmit thousands of emotions to the audience through your music? Um, I mean, probably the best thing about being on tour is actually playing the gig. I mean, there's a lot of time traveling. Um, of course, there's a lot of new experiences to be had and sights to be seen, but you're really there to play a show, and that's when you really have that exchange of energy and feeling with the crowd. That's, would you agree? I don't know. At Buck Lover, how do you feel about playing and being in Mexico? Well, it's brilliant. It's the first time we've been, and uh, well, Charlie's been before, but not with us. I went to Cancun, which is not like this sort of Mexico. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, it's totally different. Yeah, yeah. But just being given the opportunity to meet some more of our fans yeah. and to play for you guys, I mean, that's what we're all about. We just want to play live. Um, it's just it's just a dream come true. So thanks for having us, Jamie. This is from at Gallegos Emilio. What have you enjoyed the most being in Corona Capital Festival and in Mexico? Well, we really just got here, so it's hard to tell just yet, but we've been eating delicious food and uh, drinking delicious Mexican beer and uh, beautiful tequila, so that's a, a great start. I think it's only going to get better when we start meeting some more uh, nice Mexican folks. At A-L-A-N-G-L-E-S-Z-9-8, why did you name your debut album In The Lonely Hour? Um, I called, it's very simple actually, I called my album In The Lonely Hour because um, I was very lonely at the time. I'd never been in a relationship and I wanted to make an album that was about unrequited love um, and just talked about different types of love because I was sick of hearing the same, the same music about um, relationships. <laughs> okay. From uh, Kike Rosales 1, we have, are you coming back to Mexico soon? No. No. I don't know. We, we don't know. We'd but love to come back. Um, there's never enough time to spend in a place, you know, but um, yeah. maybe next year. Yeah. We don't know what soon means, but next year I'm sure we'll be back. Yeah. But hopefully we'll see you when we do come back. Yeah. Um, at Roberts Russell, 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 I'm going for Russell, asked if there's going to be a duet with Paramore. Um, not that I'm aware of. We're all big fans of the band and Hayley Williams has an incredible voice, but um, as far as we're aware that's not on the cards. We can just be fans, we don't have to collaborate. What would you guys be doing if you weren't in a rock and roll band? Well, that's, that's, a, that's a great question because I'd probably be a, lot of a Me Mexican wrestler, you know. I won't do very well, but um, uh, yeah. Yeah, I I'd move to Mexico and become a wrestler, all right? At uh, Alex 
A A F T W. What's the weirdest thing that you've seen in in an audience on a festival? Oh, what's the weirdest thing? What can I say? Some I saw uh, I saw someone with <laughs> I saw someone get really kind of undressed and get up on top of someone's shoulders and just kind of flail pretty much naked. And it's hard not to get distracted by stuff like that when you're on stage. So that was the weirdest thing. Hey there, we're the Kooks. Uh, I'm Luke. Uh, I'm Peter. What's going on? Uh, we have some um, messages from you guys out on Twitter. Um, we're at the Corona Music Festival in Mexico City. Uh, the first one, uh, Fur R5. Hello, you lovely, lovely. Uh, so far, which would you say have been your favorite shows? I'm guessing shows playing live. Uh, on this tour, we've had we've had a few yeah, top festivals. ones, haven't we? Yeah. Some of the festivals are good. Glastonbury. I Rizzo like Festival Island. actually. Festival was great. That was cool. Hurricane. Before RK5, okay, that was cool. Oh shit, that was. That was good. in Germany. That was a really cool one. Right, I'm just gonna keep asking these, right? Because you guys answer. It. So here we are. I know a question now from the Edge underscore JP. Is that the actual the Edge? The Edge. <laughs> the Edge is asking a question. Bono is next. What's your favourite thing about Mexico? Wow, that's tough. We're, we're just I discovering know. Mexico. Uh -huh. so, um, far. so far, the food's been yeah. wonderful. People have been really nice. The weather's beautiful. It's just turning to winter in Scotland, as you know, so it's nice to have a little bit of sunshine. But um, hopefully we'll discover more tomorrow. We have a little bit of time to wander around. Well, we've been stuffing our faces with lots and lots of beautiful Mexican food. And I have to say, I love Chicharito. Chicharito, if you're watching, you're doing a good job. You're doing a good thing, man. Fucking stick at it. <laughs> Control and caught up in this world. 